Hey guys, welcome back. Today I created the smoky, purple, shimmery, I don't even know what you call it. It took some interesting turns along the way. I kind of like how it turned out. If you want to see how I created it, then just keep on watching. So you guys know I've been using Bone Beige by MAC to start my transition. Um, I use it for my nose contour. I use it to begin my eyebrows. And then to make everything just a little bit more cohesive, I've been taking that shade on a Morphe M504, just so whatever I use as an actual transition shade has something to just blend into. Basically my face eats my makeup, um, especially like eyebrows, contour, any of that kind of stuff. It really does kind of fade on me throughout the day. My eyeshadow always stays locked into place, but for some reason, any of the actual structure that I paint onto my face is going to be kind of cut down in half at some point through the day. So I'd rather just really, really get it on there heavy so I don't have to worry about it. And now using the transition shade from the Petalette Quad by Wet n Wild, just kind of building up some color into that transition. But I hadn't actually used this quad from Wet n Wild after I depotted it, so I figured I really just wanna get into and use some of the eyeshadows that I've purchased that I kind of just let sit around in palettes and actually haven't used yet, you know? These Wet n Wild palettes have some really, really great transition shades. I have not found a dud yet. I'm switching to a 217 just so we can kind of pack that color in a little bit more at the top of my socket and kind of right into the lower part of the brow bone. And it really does seem like you can build this color up a little bit too, so. And then really intensifying the actual purple tone in the crease. I'm going in with Poison Plum by Sugar Pill, which you guys already know, I have kind of a love-hate relationship with this color. Since this isn't the main color that I'm using today, this is just kind of like an accent color. I don't mind using this one today. It's not Sugar Pill's fault that this color is not as amazing as I want it to be. It's just that, you know, purple eyeshadows are just really hard. But again, think about where makeup was even 10 years ago compared to where it is now. And you know, some of the colors and some of the formulas and some of the textures and, you know, I have hope. I think that at some point, you know, I don't think we're that far off from somebody, you know, finding that perfect formula for something like this. But we are not there yet. Second layer of Poison Plum. Let's see what we can do. Now, speaking of difficult shadows, I did go and pick up the Subculture palette. I've never been so scared to use an eyeshadow palette. Like, it just kind of freaked me out. I don't know. Like, and I feel like I had watched so many videos and so many tutorials. It seemed like the videos where people used it and had a really good outcome with it they were definitely doing more of a tapping and a padding to like blend the colors out. I didn't have any problems, but you know, I also, I'm also okay with taking three hours to put on makeup and really like babying a formula. I'm totally fine with that, so. But that said, I'm definitely not ready to do a tutorial with it yet because I'm still getting used to putting on makeup under these really bright lights. Um, it's completely different than putting on makeup under normal lighting situation. I feel like things always look unblended underneath these lights. I don't want to be all like super confident and cocky about it. Like, yeah, I made this palette my bitch and it works out really good. And then I don't want to go back in and like look at it on camera and be like, oh, that looks unblended. That looks patchy. That looks weird. Um, and then look like a total liar. You know what I mean? Third layer of Poison Plum, um, definitely still stamping and blending. Now this might be the most luck I've ever had with Poison Plum, but I also have gone in now and done three layers and had to like kind of build it and build it and build it to get this opacity and to get this brightness and to make it not look so patchy. But I feel like there's still something about it that I don't know, I just want a little bit more from this color. So now on a Morphe E17, I'm gonna go into the Dark Matter pigment from Pat McGrath which is actually, this is my first time ever using this pigment. Somebody sent this to me along with a bunch of other products um, that they were just getting rid of. I was kind of excited about it, but just never actually got around to using it. Um, 
there is something out there for every price point and there is something out there for every budget and the Pat McGrath line is just it's completely out of my budget um, I think the price point is kind of ridiculous um, and for a black pigment this isn't really doing much um, like actually what it's done so far is it kind of erased the poison plum shadow from underneath it do you see that like I have like a bald spot there now um, for where it just from where it just completely took it off like if you look at that side now compared to this side where I had poison plum like it completely just erased it so plan B we're gonna go in with something I know I do like um, I'm gonna go in with carbon by Mac um, on that e36 and like look already like I barely even touched that and it's already putting down black um, where that Pat McGrath pigment literally did nothing but erase eyeshadow and I feel like I never hear anybody really talking about Pat McGrath um, products. I feel like I never see tutorials, I never see videos using her products. Um, the only thing I do see is like on Instagram when there's like a new collection that comes out, I'll see pictures of like eyeshadow palettes and products and stuff. And then, you know, you'll look at a lot of comments of people, you know, kind of scoffing at the price point. And now that I actually used it and saw it in action on my own face, like shame on you for charging that much for shitty product. I feel like there's a few makeup lines that kind of fall into that price point where you just kind of look at it and you go like, where the fuck do you get off charging that much money for makeup? I feel like a MAC, an Urban Decay, a Makeup Forever, a Kat Von D, you know, like the, the more mid-end price range, I feel like is fair for what it is. I know I sound really angry, but that eyeshadow just really pissed me off. So um, I'm gonna go in now with a Morphe M507, just taking that black down underneath the lash line. I don't even know that I've ever seen this brush before. Um, I don't know if this is kind of a new one, but like a bullet crease brush, but it's really, really soft. So it's really great for precision and blending all at the same time, so. And then kind of adding a little bit more Poison Plum into that. So now I'm gonna black out my waterline and my lid with this Maybelline Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel Eyeliner. That's a mouthful. I'm not gonna lie, I am obsessed with this pencil. Um, I've used it a few times before on my channel and it goes on so easily. It glides on so smooth. Um, the color, the pigment is so black. Now I do have this in a few other colors. I also have this in a purple and I have it in a blue. But now that I have these and I'm obsessed with them, I haven't seen them anywhere. Um, I've actually gone, um, I've seen, I've gone into Ulta, I've gone into Walmart, I've gone into Target, um, and I actually have not seen these anywhere since I became obsessed with them. So are they discontinued? And then I'm also gonna take that pencil and just kind of line my upper lash line. So I definitely have black eyeshadow on my nose right now, but we're gonna move on. So we are gonna shimmer these eyelids up. You know for any shimmery eyeshadow, I'm gonna lay down some glitter primer first. Um, I'm gonna use the NYX glitter primer all over the lid, right over top of that black eyeliner. And the great thing about using a black eyeliner as a base on the lid is when you go in and pat down your glitter primer, you're not really gonna disturb anything underneath it because that eyeliner sets down really well. And then going right over top of that with Penelope Ann by Vanessa's Vanity, 
I just wanted to have something to kind of break up the actual like purple of everything that was going on. I think that this shade definitely fits in with the purple look. It just gives it a little something different. And if you're new here, or if you just happen to miss my last video, I do have an affiliate code with Vanessa's Vanity. Use the code GLAMPUNK at checkout and you'll save yourself 15% on your entire order. And I think I'm gonna bring a little bit of that color down onto my lower lash line today too. Now, speaking of Etsy brands, Posh Pepper Beauty has created a new highlighter that's like a sister to my custom highlighter, Glam Gold. This one is called Acid Rain. I'm pretty excited to try that one out today. I'm gonna use it for my inner corner highlight. Lay down that glitter primer. Fuck yeah, that's awesome. Posh Pepper Beauty did it again. Fuck yeah, that's great. <laughs> I fucking love that, that's so good. If you're gonna use a color this obnoxious on your inner corner, then be obnoxious with it. Like blow it out, really get it in there, really make it pop. That's great, that is great. So I'm gonna get some mascara on and try to clean up some of this black shadow off my nose and then I'll be right back with the final look. So this is almost the final look. So what keeps happening is I keep forgetting to highlight until my outro. So we're gonna go ahead and highlight. I'm gonna hit just underneath my eyebrows, um, mostly because I discovered while I was putting on my mascara that I have completely covered myself in black eyeshadow. I'm a mess today. I'm gonna go into Glam Gold on a Morphe M510 and just hit those cheekbones. Tie that in with my uh, highlight under my uh, eyebrow. So it took an interesting turn, but this is the look. This is the final look. Is it my proudest moment? No, but do I stand behind it? Sure. <laughs> um, I think that uh, I think that Penelope Ann ended up being a really cool color. I think the black eyeshadow kind of killed my whole vibe. It kind of killed my whole mood today. But to end this video on a much more positive note, it's time for a giveaway. This was supposed to be a giveaway for my 500 subscriber mark, and now we're over that 600 mark. So um, we're gonna go ahead and call this the 500 subscriber giveaway anyway. Um, so what I have for you guys today, um, I know you hear me talk a lot about Posh Pepper Beauty and her highlighters on my channel. So I have my six favorite Posh Pepper Beauty highlighters for one of you guys. One of you is gonna win the shades Glisten, Juicy Peach, In Bloom, Glam Gold, which is my personal favorite, Peacock, and Rainbow Fire. The rules are simple. You must be subscribed to my channel and you must leave me one comment down below. Doesn't matter what it is. Your comment must be in by noon Eastern Standard Time on Thursday, March 1st, which gives you two days, um, I will pick a winner. And then I'll get a hold of you and we will get your address and get your highlighter shipped to you. So good luck. I'm sure whoever wins is going to really enjoy these highlighters. I use them every day and I fucking love them. If you like this video, if you wanna see more, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscription button down below. Tell all your friends about it so they know to watch and I'll see you guys on the next one.